We've got more information on Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 as well as Tech Preview and uh, the upcoming 3.24.2 patch. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. Um, So just this morning, we've gotten some more interesting um, nuggets of information in regards to Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, which I think is very interesting. I'm noticing that um, as we approach CitizenCon, we're getting more and more information on 4.0 and it's not us bringing it up, it's CIG that's bringing it up. And, you know, so um, let's just get straight into this one. So, so Wintermute CIG in Spectrum says, um, what we're aiming to deliver in 4.0 is already quite a few steps beyond our original plan for the static mesh. Likewise, dynamic mesh won't be a big bang. Interesting. All right. He continues to say, now it's ready kind of thing. Um, and it says here, I'll, it'll arrive gradually as the tech continues to evolve alongside the game. Interesting. So... Um, I guess due to the delays for Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, um, as it was meant to drop uh, mid-year this year, um, all the other features that were going to um, e eventually run on the uh, server mesh and code has, I guess, matured more than what they expected. So I guess we may see more features than what they intended to drop with 4.0. That this is what I'm getting from what he says here. Okay, so. So next, it says here, Evo Cardi members were asking um, Wintermute CIG, can you pinky promise that 4.0 will start with meshing enabled? And he responded back, it will. Interesting. So, I mean, that's what we expected, right? So I'm not even remotely surprised with that. So also, he also says here, in general, guys, I'll reiterate what I've said here many times before with static mesh, we're working with big zones of stuff and assigning them out to the DGSs, dividing up space to spread the load. With the eventual goal for dynamic, um, it's not based on spatial division at all, or at least not in the way of X server simulates location Y. We talk about this back in Paul's video at CitizenCon 2021, I think. Uh, there's a reasonable explanation there, if a little outdated now. So it seems like the server meshing technology has evolved over time, which is expected. And um, I'm really excited for it. So that's more on Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 news, right? CIG is, is now talking more and more about 4.0 as we're getting close to the release of 3.24.2. And it seems like it's literally the very next um, patch we're going to see. So it continues actually in terms of uh, news. Just today, we've gotten a message of the day. It says here, we are currently working on a tech preview build for a play test starting early this afternoon with many updates to RMQ and meshing. Tests will start out at 100 players per mesh and increase as we analyze the data. So expect a tech preview this afternoon, it says here. And it continues to say, um, from Waka, um, we have a lot of UI readability updates coming in the next 3.24.2 build from Zane. Chromatic variation uh, should respect the settings again on UI elements and stuff and more from the kiosk UI being stretched. Goal will be tomorrow for all that. Any performance issues are already being looked into with the live QA team they can get captured and other data to see if there is anything going on but performance is definitely being looked into and it says here no mission in the tech preview test today you'll see more on this once we move to 4.0 evo testing and beyond once again star citizen alpha 4.0 is literally being talked about by cig so it gives me more confidence that we it's a great possibility we will see it this year and um i just have a feeling it's literally the next patch after this i, I believe this server mesh test uh, i guess the next iterations of it 
will most likely be in pyro so that they can fully test the the entire thing before um they put it into the hands of the community so most likely evocati will get their hands on it testing stanton pyro and then uh wormholes uh being meshed all together and uh yeah so really exciting stuff you guys let me know your thoughts on what we just spoke about in the comment down below before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe I'll catch you guys on the next one